friends, thanks for being here. Thanks for clicking on this video um, and deciding to watch it. Today we are looking at the energies um, of the following week, May 22nd through the 28th. My goodness, May is almost over. I've got a bit of a hit list here um, of the moving energies. I feel like there's, again, a lot of more push and pull. Starting the week, we're feeling totally inspired and ready to take action to push beyond some sort of obstacle. Um, this can come in the form of um, restlessness or maybe just having a lot of good, we talked about ideas last week, maybe there's like a lot of information that's um, um, inspiring you to take some sort of action. Mercury, still in retrograde, moves back into Taurus also this week, reminding us that things take time. So you might not be ready to push past this obstacle. If anything, it's pushing past the obstacle of desire or willpower. So this week, don't be discouraged if your external world does not reflect, reflect your inner desires. It's time to lean on your friends, your confidants, or your partner. While in community, your inspiration will see a rejuvenation and you may experience yet another flux of energy, which will keep you committed to your goals. Mm -hmm. You may be traveling this week or thinking about or planning travel, and by the weekend you may feel the need to create something beautiful. Do it if it brings you joy. Don't do it if you feel like you should. Um, the end of the week feels like a really beautiful energy, like this desire to um, create something outwardly that reflects your inner world, not creating something beautiful for the sake of uh, beauty. The, the point I think to hinge on here is this like um, something wanting to be shown uh, tangibly, a representation of what it is that you want most or a feeling that you have that is, you know, or a value that you have will maybe bring about some, there might be some sort of like representation of it or an event around it by this weekend which is the 27th 28th all right that's that we'll get into a reading i was doing reiki sessions earlier so that's why i have this um very fancy tablecloth it's like beautiful purple on the other side I'll show you real quick isn't that great oh yeah but then it's white on this side I got it in Panama when I was traveling earlier this year Panama the country okay any positive messages for this week? New moon in Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. This might be possibly about thinking through all the downloads you've been receiving lately and what do they mean. We have the full moon in Aries. Oh, will it focus, please? There it is. A fiery climax approaches the full moon in Aries. Yeah. You might be thinking that something you've wanted is like right there and it might be, but it's like not coming across. It's like not on that plane or not on that train. It's like on the next train and you might just feel a little too eager. Uh, then we have new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Ooh, this really feels like, um, Prosperity lies ahead. This thing that you want, whatever it is, and for everybody it will be different, what would it feel like right now to f believe that it's on its way? Like to believe that that ship is coming in, to believe that um, it's on the next train. I feel like that's what the cards are saying is wanting to get you into that manifestation sort of energy of having the thing that you want 
without um, getting over eager about it or like there might be something about either controlling your emotions or um, just sort of inviting that which you want into your life in like a, in a more calm way or something like that. Hmm. It's like you know the thing you want is coming, so um, don't be too aggressive. Don't be aggressive with it. Just let it peacefully, slowly enter your life. That's sort of the energy. Well, let's see what else the tarot has to say for this week. I want to say thanks for everybody who's been watching these videos, um, the new subscribers, um, people who like the videos. That all helps these videos get populated around YouTube and shared and stuff. And the last weekly video has like, I don't know, way more views than they normally do. So I don't know how that one got successful. Let's try to emulate though. Oh boy. I certainly lost a card. It's the page of pentacles. <laughs> Learning the system learning the system here. All right, let's get into the reading. It's about doing your research. So yeah, if, if, if the previous week's message has been true for you, a lot of downloads, a lot of information, maybe there's just like a lot of information flying around. Maybe it doesn't feel like a revelation, but I feel like there's something in it. The Ace of Pentacles underneath. Yeah, so an opportunity. This could be related to work, money, financial stuff, but then I see the two of pentacles underneath as well. Um, and this is about a union or a reunion or the truth, the truth of the soul's exchange. So this is about finally an opportunity to meet somebody who understands you or who wants the same things as you. Three of pentacles, queen of cups, three of wands. That was there before. Queen of swords. Four of Pentacles, Wise Old Tree, the Six of Swords, the Goblin, and the Ace of Swords. We started with an Ace, we ended with an Ace. Uh, we got two Queens on the table, we got two Shadow Cards. And we also have the Three and the Four of Pentacles. So there's some sort of progression um, I feel like if there, if there is revelation energy in your life right now, it's probably something around um, what you've been holding on to in terms of what you believe about your um, relationships, um, what you believe is your, um, let's see here. Yeah. You know, the Four of Pentacles and the, the Goblin, to me, this is like the equivalent of the Ghost card. Remember if the Ghost card comes out, the stories we tell ourselves to stay comfortably scared. So what are we tricking ourselves into holding on to much longer than what is needed? Because the Queen of Cups is here. I feel like she's trying to tell us that intuitively we have to get in touch with our feelings and our intuition and that which well, come on where's the focus there it is uh get in touch with that what, what we value most get in touch with our feelings it's an esoteric card you see the moon phase ziz on her cup i mean that's indicative of wisdom so there is some higher higher wisdom wanting to come in and there might be something blocking it um There might be some sort of like physical block, energetic block. Maybe we can pull some cards around what that is. In the past, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Six of Swords. This is about wanting to find, so if this is talking actually about the Two of Cups, there's an opportunity that you may, that may be manifesting that you started um, not alone, but with another person or with a group of people 
that is helping you to become smarter about where your energy wants to go. Um, does that make sense? So like you might be getting support or accountability um, from some place that's helping you set healthy boundaries, that's helping you leave things behind so that you can move into the future to receive these downloads. And then you will, you're finding where you are, where your blocks are, where you, the you blocks are. Cause sometimes it's external stuff and then sometimes it's our stuff. So this is now wanting to show you where you are blocking yourself. I wonder if that's what this Aries energy is about. And um, even in our quick hit list, the note card, there was um, stuff about like, okay, this external opportunity is here. This thing is here. Why can't I just reach out and, and grab it? It's because there's something you have to change or you have to let go of to make room for this. Um, you ever hear like, to get rich, you have to get rich in your mind first? Or you ever hear, if you, most people who had a million dollars wouldn't know what to do with it? Like, this is just, I don't know. I've heard that. I've heard that around. Is that a thing? That's sort of like what is happening here is like, you might have the thing or you might be close to achieving something, um, a new position, an opportunity, financial or whatever. Um, but you're, you're holding on to an old way of doing things. And I feel like that's, that's where this clarity, if the Ace of Swords representing truth and clarity will come from understanding yourself well enough. We have the wise old tree. Wisdom is good, but when is it has when it, when is it too much? When is, when does wisdom really limit how we're able to see possibility? That's what wants to come in the three of wands, expansion and growth, and yet we're met with the wise old tree. So you see, this is more push and pull. This is more push and pull energy. This feels like honestly what we were experiencing two weeks ago. I think like right before the new moon. <clears throat> Alas, here it is again. Here it is again. And you know, maybe that's partially because of the Mercury retrograde, right? It's moving back into Taurus this week, reminding us that things take time. Mm -hmm. Why don't we take some moon messages? Because I, I love these cards. Here we go. The new moon in Pisces. Use your feelings to guide your way. Logic won't work right now. Except logic does sort of work like there's a there's a logical decision made a either a business decision or just a smart move um, that is made to leave something behind. Now that you can sit in your own energy. That's what it's saying here. Now that's where we pick up with the meditate and contemplate. Use your feelings to guide your way. Once you can once you reach a territory or a zone or an area of your mind where thoughts no longer make sense. And that it's just in the land of feelings. That's what this card is talking about. The situation is being healed. Time to surrender to the divine. Avoid being deceptive or willingly deceived. That's important. Pisces is the sign of reveries and mysteries or depths of emotion, idealism, and hopeless romantics. It's a sign of water and the unconscious. Its energy is deep like watery depths. This indicates a time to listen to your feelings to allow your emotions free reign. Whatever you're feeling as you pull this card is more than likely the truth. Unless you've been kidding yourself somehow and only you know if that's the case or not. That's funny. Have you been kidding yourself or not? Because we have the, um, the troll here. The troll? Yeah, that's a troll. Okay. <laughs> Full moon Aries. Let's get these moon messages out. Be nice, be kind, smile and be polite as you navigate to where you want to be. Being assertive is good. Just don't ride roughshod over anyone. Don't be a baby. Sorry, but this could be the case. <laughs> you need to have more fun. That was a message I got earlier today too. have more fun. Maybe that was for me. Maybe it's for you too. If you're in a tense situation, meditate your way to peace, calling back to meditate card. 
Aha. Um, so, yeah, a bit of sensitivity is required this week, I think, with yourself. Um, that's what I'm picking up here. And now we got New Moon Taurus. Ooh, I like this. Get or give a massage. Healthy body, healthy mind. Actually, I did want to get a massage this week or soon. You will soon be able to afford the thing you're dreaming of. Get, getting clear on what you value most will help you find peace. Take some time out to pamper yourself. Mm-hmm. We often feel it's somehow wrong to focus on our finances, but the truth is that money can make life far more comfortable from a physical point of view. Taurus knows this, and the new moon in Taurus is the time to work your magic to create the money you want so you can have the creature comforts you want. Remember, though, that someone else is still wishing for what you already have. That is calling back to the sensitivity of this full moon in Aries. Don't be so... There's a saying in Polish, nie bądź taki do przodu, po ci z tyłu braknie. Um, don't be so forward that you'll um, run out in the back. <laughs> um, okay, I'm thinking of a song right now. <laughs> I think it's Jenny from the block. <laughs> Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. Used to have a little, now I have a lot. <laughs> oh my God, that came from out of nowhere. Yeah, so again, this is about manifesting. This is for sure, find your people for sure. And maybe there is somebody who's come out of the woodworks or somebody you've com connected with recently with whom you can talk plainly about what it is you want to create in your life. Maybe that's like an accountability partner. That's somebody who sort of is helping you carry your vision forward. Whether that's providing some validation of like, yeah, this had, this is a good idea. I think you can do it and is supporting you and is supporting you and let's say leaving a job behind or leaving some other situation behind to make room for this. Now that you yourself are seeing that this is something viable, I think you're getting into your feelings this week. Okay, so just be aware of that. You're going, you're getting in your feelings so that you can, um, make adjustments as necessary and follow this new moon sort of new moon in Taurus uh, advice get or give a massage healthy body healthy mind that is some good advice thanks for watching remember to subscribe like and I'll see you guys on the next video